Hello everyone and welcome to my first video of 2018. Yes, here we are, it's 2018, I'm so excited and I have not filmed a video, I think my last upload was actually on Christmas, it was a really bad scheduling date but I'm pretty sure it was Christmas. And I thought today would be the perfect time to do a follow up video for a video that I posted three months ago now. I was actually kind of really iffy about uploading this because I'm kind of really talking down on a product that I was sent and I just, I think it's actually like after three months I'm like no I need to upload it because there's so many people using this product and they should not be. I am talking about why you should stop using charcoal activated toothpaste or teeth whitening sets because they are so bad for you and if you haven't watched my first video where I was kindly <laughs> sent a product by a company. I'll just do a little link right here and you can watch that now. There's one product that I no longer have anymore just because I'm so against it and it's the activated charcoal powder, which ideally I probably should have kept just for the sake of this video, but I didn't. So watch that one and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you are using that product, you need to stop like right now, like yesterday. You should not have used it ever. There is literally nothing good about this product. This is one of the things that I did receive in the package, which is an activated charcoal toothpaste. And this one is actually okay. This is why I haven't thrown this out. But the other product, which is the charcoal activated powder, don't use that. Like, seriously, do not use that. If you look at the powder that they give you, it is a bit gritty. And then you're going to be putting that onto your teeth for no other reason other than the fact that marketing has told you to do it. There is literally no scientific evidence or even like proof that charcoal has a benefit for your teeth. There is other scientific evidence to prove that it is good like for your health in other areas. But the only information I have found when I literally googled how does charcoal activated teeth whitening work I found literally nothing. The only thing that I found were companies that supply and sell products that whiten your teeth with charcoal activated, but there was no scientific evidence, there was no research, there was no set direct answer of how it works. And the only information I actually found was from Dr. Kim Harms, who is a spokesperson for the American Dental Association. Now, I know I am Australian, but I'm pretty sure like dental associations can kind of speak on behalf of the world and get you a better idea. But even Dr. Kim says, there is no evidence at all that activated charcoal does any good for your teeth. She worries about the potential damage the grainy substance can do to your teeth and gums. Like any abrasive, we're worried about the effects on the gums and enamel on the teeth. We don't know about the safety and effectiveness of it. The fact that that's the only information that I could find after conducting like a simple Google search, like what does charcoal whitening do and how does it work, and nothing shows up except for that is kind of like proof that you should not be using it. Like I don't understand why there's so many products out there in the market that people are not researching before using it on and in their body. Like, to give an example of what this product is doing, it's broken down charcoal, like the actual powder, and imagine it's been smashed up so much that it is like fine and grainy, so it's just like a small powdery substance. If you put that substance under a microscope and you enlarge it like a hundred times, a thousand times, I don't really know how much you have to do it to get like a visual of this, but each grain will not be a perfect circle. It will not be round, it will not have smooth edges. Instead, it will be jagged, it will be spiky under there because you can't create a perfect circle unless it's created artificially in a lab. Like, you just won't be able to do it. And this charcoal powder is basically something that's been smashed and crushed by a machine and it's grainy and spiky. And then you're putting this and rubbing this on your teeth. Now imagine what a spiky thing is going to do when you literally rub it in circular motions against a tooth. It's going to start tearing at it, it's going to put scratches through it, it's going to rip apart your tooth, which therefore is going to attack your enamel, and enamel is the protecting coat of your teeth, and once you get rid of that, it will not come back. Your body does not produce more enamel, so once you start using charcoal, powder on your teeth it's actually doing a lot of damage like to put it in perspective i have another product here 
that is, it's a Frank Body face scrub. I don't use this anymore for the same reason I've just explained for what charcoal does to your teeth. This also rips apart at your skin. It's an exfoliant, but you don't need to be so aggressive in your cleaning. So this product here, you can see is like, it's got grain in it. It's gritty. I can feel it rubbing. Now imagine if I put this same thing on my teeth and started putting it in circular motions. Because you can see the grain, it's probably easier to actually relate to than the activated charcoal whitening powder. Now imagine putting that against your tooth. It's gonna do something. It's gonna scratch. It'll be like nails on a chalkboard and start doing some damage. And you don't really wanna do that. Like you only get one set of adult teeth in your life. So if you're thinking of whitening your teeth, don't do something and put something on it that you haven't done research with beforehand. Products like this should not even be on the market. This toothpaste, like I said, is fine. I've put it out on my hand before. I've rubbed it together. There's no gritty bits in here. To me, it literally just looks like it's a black toothpaste and it's another marketing scam there that they're trying to make it look like there's charcoal in there. But really, it's like black dye or something, which probably isn't good anyway to use. Basically, the gist of this video is don't fall for marketing because it's so easy for anyone to chuck information and a product out there that really hasn't had the proper and correct research done. Like, that's so easy for me to put a product out there tomorrow. I could go in the backyard and grab some dirt and smoosh it up. And if I have, like, an amazing marketing campaign for it and, you know, all of these little lines saying dirt is actually good for you, all the nutrients and, like, things that are found naturally that reoccur in the ground, you need to put that in your body. And if I had an amazing graphic designer that made things look legit, I would easily be able to sell that to probably a thousand people. It sounds ridiculous, but that's literally what this charcoal whitening powder is. It's like someone has grabbed dirt from their yard, put it in a fancy container, and is now marketing it and selling it to people online who just aren't aware that they should be doing a lot more research than what they are. So the gist, like I said, is to stop using it. And from now on, please just research what you're buying. Research what you're putting on your body. Research what you're putting in your body. You can find evidence from a proper website. So not just a blogger or a blog post. It's going to stand up for more than what just anything on Wikipedia stands for. I've said this before in another one of my videos, I can't remember which, but Google Scholar is your best friend for these things. If you go on Google Scholar, it is peer-reviewed articles done by people. They've got an education in their field and their peers have reviewed it and also agree, yes, this is fine. You can put it up there. It's not just something thrown on the internet like you'll find on just normal Google. So Google Scholar and then do your search term and you will find so much more and you will just, your world will be opened up to how much marketing scams there are out there. And yeah, anyway, that is the end of this video. I probably should have like a little uh, note saying that I'm not targeting at Carbon Cocoa directly themselves. There are so many other companies out there doing the same thing. And for all they know, they may have got the idea from another company and thought it was a great idea to follow with and never did their research themselves. They may be unaware personally, but even if that's the case for a business and a company that's selling products, they should really know what they're selling. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it is educated I think a few of you even if it's only three or four of you it's probably better than none because that is saved three or four people's enamels on their teeth and yeah until next time guys goodbye